Welcome into PicksWise Playbook presented by Superbook Sports as we preview Thursday Night Football. I'm Mark Zeno. He's Jared Smith. Thursday Night Football featuring the New Orleans Saints taking on the Arizona Cardinals out in the desert. Cardinals now a two-point favorite and a total set at 44-and-a-half. Jared, just some quick notes before we get into the contest itself. Home team 7-1 and one against the number in the last eight meetings in the series and the over is 4-0 in the last four meetings out in Arizona. So how do we handicap what has been a lackluster Thursday night football schedule and add one more to the to the list there? Yeah, it really has. Um, again, the injury reports for both teams on a Thursday night game is paramount. I don't think we're going to know who's going to be at the quarterback position for the Saints until right before the game. Jameis Winston and Andy Dalton both limited in practice on Monday and Tuesday. And, of course, the Saints are coming off a very tough physical game against the Bengals. They gave up a ton of points, especially in the second half. Arizona's – I'll be honest. I, I I think Arizona has some good football ahead of them. They had such a weird start to the season. Of course, all the offseason crap. And then they go, they get their butts kicked by the Chiefs in week one. They win the they win that Raiders game in a crazy comeback. Um, and then since two, two losses to the Eagles and the Seahawks that were ugly, let's be honest. They scored 26 points in those two games combined. So I hope, I think we're going to see a little bit better play from the Arizona offense. You would think New Orleans short week traveling West, but I'll be honest, this is a, this is a tough game to handicap because we have no idea who's playing quarterback for the Saints. One of the ways to handicap the Cardinals this year is taking uh, the first quarter unders, the first half unders, or whoever Arizona is playing, taking them in the first half money line, because Arizona has been terrible in the first half of every game this year. Uh, and if you look at the numbers, the way they have played out, or at least the way they're listed right now, you can get the Saints at even money on the money line in the first half. Heck, you can get the Saints plus a half on the spread at only minus 115. And the total for the first half set at 22. I'd look at the under there with so much turmoil on the Saints offense and Cliff Kingsbury not being able to prep his team for a football game adequately. You know, for them to get 23 points in the first half feels a little bit like a stretch without some sort of defensive or special teams touchdown. So I think there's several plays available in the first half. Again, Arizona's been outscored in the first half more than anybody in the National Football League this year. So I don't know if that interests me, but it's the way that I would look at this matchup. So Arizona finally scored a point in the first quarter in their game against Seattle. But overall, their first quarter, first halves have been really poor. We talked about this on PicksWise Playbook last week. The fact that they're scoring such few points in the opening quarter tells me that Cliff Kingsbury's script is like a Disney movie instead of a Scorsese film. It's 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 ugly. It's bad. Um, and not to knock Disney movies, but, you know, it's it's a little more light and cheery than you would want a first quarter script to be, which is attack. You've got one of the best quarterbacks in the league and you have a really good complement of weapons around him. If I'm not mistaken. Six games in, we should get DeAndre Hopkins back this week. Am I correct in that assumption? Correct. DeAndre Hopkins is back. Um, mm, that changes the dynamic a little bit. Marquise Brown's out, but you put Hopkins in. We'll see if that sparks what has been a very pedestrian Arizona offense so far. For them to not score a touchdown against the lowly Seahawks last week is very alarming. The Seahawks have one of the worst defenses in the league. I, I don't understand how you don't score more than nine points against Seattle's defense. Maybe, and we've talked about this before, the look ahead to Thursday. Sometimes teams, you know, get a little bit clammy on the Sunday before their Thursday game. But you, you can't go to a divisional road game and, and play that poorly and then expect us to bet on you the following week, even though you're at home and we don't know who's playing quarterback for the other team. But I just, something's up with that with that Cardinals offense. And, and I don't know what the catalyst is, but they need something quick or else – Someone's going to have – someone's head's going to roll there in the desert. Well, to your point, an interesting way to look at it, uh, just checking out one book for DeAndre Hopkins receiving yards at a low number at 60 and a half. Uh, even some alternate mm -hmm. uh, receiving yards prop, over 70 yards plus 134 and over 80 plus 200. You know, if there's any way to welcome DeAndre Hopkins back, and I would even look at his anytime touchdown score, uh, his number there as well. But you'd have to believe that – Kyler Murray to want to hook up with him. Yeah, DeAndre Hopkins is plus 115 to score a touchdown. So you're getting some favorable numbers in his first game back. It may be worth a roll of the dice there to see if Hopkins gets the love from Kyler Murray as soon as they get back. It might change the outcome uh, of the game. But then again, Arizona's been so bad 
they could start out equally as slow, and I'm not sure it really matters because it's not like they were devoid of talent anywhere else. They've had plenty of other talent on this roster. Yeah, there is there is a lot of talent on this roster. The defense has played bad. Kyler Murray's been bad. There isn't a lot of upside things to get excited about. Maybe it is. Maybe Hopkins is the catalyst. There, there's got to be a point in this season where Arizona has one of those wow offensive games. It's going to happen at some point. I don't know if it's going to be this week. Is Marshawn Lattimore playing in this game? That's another guy. Um, let's yeah. look at the injury report. Lattimore did not practice Monday or Tuesday. Not a good sign. If Lattimore is out and Hopkins is in, I could see Arizona stretching their legs a little bit offensively. But again, it, if they couldn't do it against Seattle, New Orleans' defense is much better, even without Lattimore. So, again, tough game. Th- the Thursday night games have been really tough to handicap nice. this year. And especially with New Orleans, we don't even know who's playing quarterback. We can't even start at the most important position on the team. If it's Winston or Dalton, I think that changes the dynamic, too. I would say Dalton probably favors New Orleans and a little more volatility with Winston. But, again, really, really tough one here. It certainly is. Thursday night has not been kind to uh, many of us, or at least not appealing on the eyes to say the least. Make sure you guys go to PicksWise.com for more information on Thursday Night Football and all games throughout the NFL. This has been PicksWise Playbook presented by Superbook Sports. He's Jared Smith. I'm Mark Zeno. Thanks for watching. Enjoy Thursday Night Football, everybody. We'll talk to you again next week.